Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I cannot believe I am saying this. Fantastic Beasts. Next. I cannot believe this is the final chapter in the Harry Potter series. Or is it? Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 is directed by David Yates, third time directing a Harry Potter movie, and stars everybody, again not mentioning them. This was released in 2010, and this is the seventh Harry Potter movie in the series, and Deathly Hallows altogether is the first, the seventh in the Harry Potter series since the seven film seven books and eight uh, films excuse me and like all my other Harry Potter movie reviews this is going to contain spoilers if you've not seen Harry Potter in the death the Hallows part one please watch it you've been warned let's talk about it so uh, they decided to split this into two parts since a lot of finales to um, uh, stories in series are usually split in into two parts, like like Twilight, The Hunger Games, uh, The Hobbit, and the Lord of the Rings trilogy are all three movies. Oh, and the Back to the Future trilogy as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, and the Rocky movies do lead off wet, but we're not talking about those. We're talking about Harry Potter, anyways. <laughs> Anyways, the film starts off uh, with Lord Voldemort and basically these other people, and he use magic with this snake, and I love that's and I love the first shot in the scene. If you couldn't tell already, guys, I actually quite like Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One. I mean, no, it's definitely not the best in the series. You know, it's still kind of drama paced. But it's not a bad thing, but but wish there could be more action like there wasn't in Half Blood Prince, because Half Blood Prince didn't have any action. And then so Harry, Ron, and Hermione, uh, and and they meet up with their own parents and Harry's awful guardian, uh, step guardians, whatever they're called, and basically they meet up together and all that stuff and how to go on this adventure thing yeah and like and like other Harry Potter movies this film is well directed cinematography great music excellent acting top-notch and these uh, scenes really are just uh, they're dressing up as other people, but and 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 Harry, Hermione, and Ron uh, go in this uh, coffee shop, and then they go to this uh, fantasy play, and well, kind of like woods kind of place where they where they with they set their own tents up, and uh, and Harry and Ron are basically having an argument about some. Thing, which leads on to a, to a few of my some of my favorite scenes in Harry Potter in this movie, not just in this movie, in any Harry Potter film, I guess. Especially when Hermione and Harry uh, are dancing in this uh, tent. Hey, which kind of also gives love to gives kind of has love. Because it's really kind of sweet together how all these Harry Potter characters are all giving love to each other, which is cool. Oh yeah, and what I love this, and my favourite part in this film probably is when Harry Potter goes to his parent, his real parents' his grave. And he's like Merry Christmas, uh, Hermione, and then... Hermione is saying the same thing back, and and they meet uh, Ron again. Then some stuff happened, and they meet uh, 
Dobby as well. Plus, and Dobby uh, dies in this movie. In this uh, grave. Uh, and they're basically burying him in the sand. And basically, and that. So then moving on to the cliffhanger of the movie, since this is Deathly Hallows Part 1, leading on to Part 2, when uh, Lord Voldemort uh, opens uh, Dumbledore's uh, grave uh, door and finds him and gets uh, the wand and just, just, just throwing, the ma throwing his magic in the air. And that's basically it. And we have to wait for part two. So overall, guys, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one. Uh, definitely a better film in this series from the previous one. Because nothing really happened in that one. This one doesn't really have much happening. I mean, it's not action-packed like other Harry Potter movies in the series. Especially some of the previous ones in the series. Some of the first ones in the series, but but the acting's great, music's great, cinematography is great. Uh, some great emotional scenes, and I love uh, my favorite scene when Harry is uh, at the graveyard at his own parent, which is just ah, oh, I love that scene. Yeah. So minor uh, cons with this movie, nothing much happens, but I have no idea what my other cons are. But other than that, I really enjoy Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. It's a great uh, setup to Part 2, which and I cannot wait to review next. So overall, I am going to give Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 a 9 out of 10. Alrighty guys, that was my review on part 1 of the finale. Stay tuned for my review on Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part 2, which will be coming next soon. Comment down below, let me know what your favourite scene in Deathly Hallows Part 1 is, and what you think of this movie personally, let me know below. And as always, comment, like and subscribe, click right uh, here for, for my other reviews if you haven't seen any of them. And until my next video, I will see you guys next time in the next video, and peace.